Hey everyone, my name's Phoebe and I have some great updates to share with you with our nesting capabilities and prints and all of that that have all been updated in our 2025.0 version. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. All right, so here I have my garment and I've worked really hard to get this like print and everything laid out exactly how I like it. So my texture is exactly where I want it to be. The lines are hitting where I want it and all of that. So this is really nice and I love it. Now, if you're a designer or a tech designer or even a production person, what you might be feeling is a little bit of an anxiety because you might be like, okay, now if I have to go to print layout and nest this, all of this might get ruined. But what we have now done is if you've set it up in your 3D window like this and you like it, you can actually like make sure that the nesting follows what's in the 3D window. All you have to do is select the patterns that you want to have like follow in your 3D window setup. And then over in your property editor off to the right hand side, right below fabric and then fabric grain direction, you'll see pattern matching. And here you can decide if you want it to be texture based, print based or lock in place. I'll go through each one of these options. But first, I just want you to know what none would happen. Like if you had none, what would happen? So if you have none and you go into your print layout and you decide to go to nest, I'm just going to nest this current fabric. This is also a fun update. As you can see, the texture gets a little bit changed because it's trying to find the best consumption amount for you. And so it's nesting for that and not really trying to match your textures together of what you did in your 3D window. So it's just trying to find its best consumption. Don't worry, we have another file. So again, we're going back to this one, which has everything that I want and it's perfect. We're going here. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to select those pattern pieces and over in your property editor underneath fabric pattern matching, I'm going to select textured base. So this you select if your pattern, if your fabric has like the texture here for you to follow along. So if you have the base color map here, for like your texture and it's not an all over print or an ad print ad, you will want to pick texture here in your pattern matching textured base. You then have pattern matching lock on automatically. And you might be wondering what that means. What that means is if I go to my edit like texture tool, right? Like here, and I try to move this around, I can't because this is locked. So the texture will stay locked for you, which is really nice. You can still scale it if you want to, but you won't be able to move it. What that also means is if you go into your print layout, those pattern pieces are also locked. So you can't move them in your print layout. They will still nest for you, but you won't be able to accidentally move them if you don't because you want them to follow exactly what's going on in your 3D window. So I'll show you that here. If I go into and I want to nest, I'm going to say nest current fabric. And what Chloe did is it read the whole fabric. It found the matching parts and then it nested the patterns in the best consumption for you that also matched exactly what you did in your 3D window. And that was all on glow. So you can see that all right here. You can, of course, do it again if you want to see if there's any better nut like consumption stuff or anything like that. This is pretty good. This also will work if you add multiple pattern pieces. So let's say I actually have a total of five of this or and it will also work for grading. I can again nest current fabric. And now we'll do it for all of the, like all of them. And you can see here how they're all 
a little faint, but you can see it all here following that same kind of like texture placement. So this is a huge win. This is really going to help because then you can see like, oh, if I want to follow it, like exactly how this is, then how extensive will that be? What does that mean? And you can get your pricing and all of that information really quickly. Really, really helpful. Just another one to show you, oh, like this example with texture, um, like nesting, something like this, where you have like your shirt, your front body, you have a placket, another placket, and also another shirt. You like how everything's laid out perfectly like so. What you can do is you can, of course, select all of these and also the back, right? Again, go to your property editor and you can turn on textured face. Let's say though you forgot to do that in your 3D window or in your simulation mode and you go into print layout. You can, of course, select all these pattern pieces here. Right click pattern matching, textured face. It will again automatically lock them for you. So you can do this in both your simulation mode and in your print layout mode. Again, it's just a right click and then you can, I'm gonna unlock all patterns. You can right click, pattern matching, textured base, print base, lock in place, do textured base. Again, I'm gonna select all of these. And then I can nest burn fabric and it will nest me, nest it, me, nest it for me. Wow, words are hard sometimes. And all the sizes, it will do that for the all three amounts that I just asked for. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now let's talk about what the print option is. So here, if I open up my object browser and print my, and property editor, I can see that I have just like a plain fabric, but then an add print as well. So why we have this option is if you have an add print, then what you can do is I can again select all of these pattern pieces in my 3D window. And then underneath fabric pattern matching here, I would pick print base because the texture that I'm following is an add print, right? It's added on top of the fabric. So I'm going to do print base. Then I can go to my print layout. Nest current fabric. Great. So this is really good for when you have an ad print. The other option that we had was locking. So locking is really good for like jeans or if you have like graphic placements or stuff like that. So this for this workflow, what we're going to do is go straight into print layout because there are washes within this print here that I want to make sure is followed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my pattern piece here and I'm going to place this exactly here. Great. And I'm going to select this, place this here. I should probably go a little bit farther down. I'm just making sure I like where my whiskers are at. Now that I'm happy with this placement, what I can do is select both, right click, pattern matching, lock in place. This will then lock these patterns in place to exactly where I want them to be. Now for the rest of the patterns, I'm fine with however they get nested. So I'm just gonna hit nest current fabric and then all of the other pattern pieces will get nested for me. Pretty great update, I feel like, especially it will make production and like pricing so much easier for all of you. And it will make it so that you don't ever have to worry about 
something getting changed when you're nesting something out in your print layout. So pretty cool. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to use that comment section down below. Check out the rest of our videos on our Chloe YouTube channel. Thanks again so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep having fun in Chloe.